one of the many things I love about a roast dinner, besides everything, but specifically is the bread that accompanies the dinner. And even more specifically, a roast dinner to me should always have Yorkshire pudding, other commonly known as a popover, but I like to refer to it as a gravy shot glass. Your girl likes gravy. Unfortunately, I am not making a roast dinner. I should get a chicken. But I am having the craving for a Yorkshire pudding, so here I am. I am having this recipe today because I guess I don't need all of the Yorkshire puddings, but I will just write the full recipe down below in the description if you want to check it out. This recipe is also very easily doubled and there can be nothing wrong with doubling the recipe for Yorkshire pudding. I did it just the other day and actually the full recipe makes 12, so I wanted 24 and I probably could have gotten like 26, 28 out of the double recipe. So keep that in mind. The one thing I suggest with this recipe is you let the batter kind of sit in the fridge for like an hour. I think it makes a difference. Of course it's not necessary just to let it kind of settle down. It's not a dough, it's a batter. It's very thin batter, kind of looks like thinned out pancake batter. Get this batter together in the fridge because I want to eat it. Into my little mixing vessel here, I'm just going to put my all-purpose flour, whole milk, Make sure it's whole. Don't be using skim in here. You want this to taste good. A pinch of just some kosher salt, some black pepper, and eggs. And that's it. Easy, easy peasy. Now I'm just going to give this a good whisk around. Make sure you get out all of the lumps. Very vigorous whisk. Now that we are good and mixed, I am just going to put some plastic wrap in here and I just want it to touch the surface of the mixture so that we don't get any sort of skin that forms. Just make sure it's all covered. And I'm gonna pop this in the fridge. I would say about an hour should do it. I've got about 15, 20 minutes left. The batter is still chilling in the fridge. I'm going to now get my pan ready and the oven. So the fun thing about this is that the pan preheats with the oven. So before I pop it in there, I'm gonna put some fat in the tins. I'm gonna use vegetable oil. I've seen a lot of people, if they're making like a roast dinner, they can put like the beef drippings in here. Just don't use butter. I feel like that would burn. Each one I'm going to put maybe like a teaspoon, just enough to cover the bottom. I'm gonna pop this in the oven and then I'm going to put my oven to 450 and when that comes to temperature we're gonna pull this out real fast and then we're gonna pour our batter into our oil tins and then pop it back in oven's ready Oops. i'm gonna fill each one maybe about a third of a cup Probably about halfway up the muffin tin. Ooh, that's gonna be a big one. <laughs> Whoops! Right back into the oven, super quick, super careful, and do not open the oven door for any reason. I mean, if it's on fire, yeah, open the oven door, I guess, put it out. But do not just open up, take a peek and check. I set the timer for 20 minutes. Usually it's like 20 to 25 minutes, depending on your oven. Just check through the window to make sure they're good and brown and puffed on top. Just don't open the door because then they will deflate. They'll still be delicious, but you won't get that beautiful, big, puffed Yorkshire pudding that you're looking for. Are you ready? Look at that. Look at how puffed. Just took these out of the oven and look at the puff. They are so perfect. Oh, this one is a perfect vessel for gravy. <laughs> Look how deep it is. This one's like, no, don't eat me. Not my buttons. Shrek, no one? Okay, perfect. This one, she's a biggie. She's pretty. And oh my gosh, they are perfectly baked. Easy come out. 
they are so beautiful and hollow inside like perfect <laughs> and of course i had to make some gravy because i can't have yorkshire puddings without gravy it's just not a thing and i don't care who you are this is the absolute king of kings mccormick brown gravy i will die on this hill this is the best gravy you'll ever have trust me these were in the oven for 22 minutes this is exactly what you're looking for done nice and brown crispy but the inside is hollow and the walls are so soft and just like almost creamy it's a very strange consistency but it's delicious time to dig in remember that gravy shot glass that i was talking about look at that perfect this is the only kind of shot that i can do so you know pretend like there's some beautiful roast chicken or like a prime rib Ooh, some crispy potatoes maybe some carrots but we have our yorkshire pudding and she looks kind of thirsty so we're gonna just give her a drink fill with gravy that's a lot of gravy <laughs> this is some ugly delicious stuff going on here do you hear that crunch first i'm going to try one without the gravy just because oh, so crispy. Mm. It's perfect. It's so soft. Mm. But crispy. The inside is perfectly hollow. Like. Mm. But crisp. What I'm excited for is the bottom. Get out of town. Mm. Mm. Now for the main event, the gravy. Mm. That is so good. Pretty impressive. People are usually like, what is that? And you can say it's a Yorkshire pudding and it's perfect, but they are so easy, so delicious, so impressive. You should definitely make some. They're always a hit. Enjoy.